we made it to the dreaded Arizona airport. This is where everything went terribly and last year. Right here. Yes. So I feel Maybe much better. Your phone calls. Oh my goodness. I had my laptop out. It was a bad deal. We got an Uber on the way. We got a hotel reserved. COVID test in the morning. We'll be set. I must say, waking up in Arizona this morning, much, much more pleasant than the last time we woke up. Oh, an outdoor pool. Wow. Grant, what's the good news? Oh, there's a truck show right across the road, so uh, lots of cool things to look at. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the good news. The good news is that we took our COVID tests this morning. They were proctored by people that were driving their vehicles. I don't know how it, I don't know how it worked, but we're both negative. So we're free to go to the airport. But first, a walk, because we're gonna have a long plane ride ahead of us today. So Grant wasn't lying when he said there was a show today. I could not have planned this any better. I think Grant feels a little bit better about our layover here, because he gets to look at trucks. What do we think, everybody? Yeah? This is much different than what you find in Nebraska. I cannot believe how low to the ground these things are. That thing's touching. It's like a, a rolling thing. How's that possible? This is a speed. Well, Grant wants to bring us uh, home one of these with us. Which is kind of I don't think it'll quite fit in the suitcase, but I'll see what I can do, okay? Right here, this is the faded hallway that a year ago, we right sat sitting on those rails. There was a COVID place right here. This is where we learned we weren't going to Hawaii. Yeah, but we did learn that we got a Jeep Gladiator last year. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Well, walking out of the airport after waiting in line for a COVID test that probably didn't even exist for two or three hours, but at least Grant got us a Jeep. So <laughs> feel much better being back here now. COVID free, negative test results, ready to get some food, go through security, and then get on the plane to Hawaii. Well, on plane for seven hours? Yes. <laughs> We got all checked into the place we're staying. Ready to enjoy the beach. driving the road to Hana, but the back way. So it's like a little bit of paved road, but a lot of unpaved road, and we're treating this rental Jeep like a rented mule. <laughs> and anything off-road, we're hitting uphill, four low, just digging, having a good time. So checking out waterfalls along the way.
I feel kind of silly wearing a helmet this big for a bike ride, but yeah, a motor a motocross <laughs> helmet with no lid. With yeah, no visor. for real. Um, this morning, Grant and I are going for a light, casual, 22 mile bike ride. And we saw it's the, downhill. Don't let it's, all, you. <laughs> it's all downhill. And we saw the sunrise at Haleakala, and it was gorgeous. Now we're just we were up at. We woke up at 2.30 this morning to catch the sunrise. Yeah, and that's still early at home. That's it's still like early, even with the you know, with the time difference. Uh, now we're just biking all the way down and going to finally get some breakfast. I've been awake for six hours now and haven't eaten. I'm starving. Hoping we get a nice hearty breakfast after this. Cool agriculture fact. There are cows on the side of this volcano. <laughs> it's a big ranch up here. That is kind of cool. It's Hawaii's second biggest ranch. And so we're seeing cows everywhere. And cow pie is like, look, we're standing in some. So, yeah. <laughs> also, I have lost my voice. Laura's been very excited. I've been very excited. She likes talking to people. And talking nonstop. I've completely lost my voice. We're having a good time. We'll see you at the bottom. Sounds we'll good. We'll see you at breakfast. We'll see you at breakfast. <laughs> Did you did you know the Olsen's fresh and salty? Grant thought it would taste like Gatorade. It looks like it should taste so good, but it does not. Trust me on that. It's terrible. <laughs> It's pretty bad. It does not taste like blue Gatorade for everyone who is wondering. It looks like it, but it doesn't taste like it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> We came to check out this beach. Every single beach we've been to, the sand has been different. Very interesting. This is probably the beach we'll watch the sunset at. Lovely. Find any shells? This is the best I've got so far. Not any whole ones. But that one. Oh, there you go, yeah. Kind of polished. I'm still looking though. Sand has worn it all away. Oh, it's a fish jaw. I'm just kidding. All right, so we have ended our motorcycle adventure. This is a restaurant that we've actually tried to get into three nights in a row. We finally got in tonight. Jalapeno mashed potatoes. Jalapeno mashed potatoes. This is a macadamia nut, a crusted aya aya steak, pineapple salsa, and many sauces. Here we have a margarita pizza. Everything that we're eating tonight is grown on the island. I would consider this a perfect end to the day. Very sad. We're leaving. It's almost midnight. And we're getting on the plane. In Hawaii. It's almost midnight in Hawaii. 4 a.m. at home. Uh, yeah, 4 a.m. on mainland time. I guess central time. All night flight. Here we go. We got here at 8 o'clock this morning, 
couldn't tell you what time that felt like in Maui time or Nebraska time. I don't know, I'm all messed up. But my voice is coming back, which is nice. And now we just have to survive a one hour flight back to Grand Island and we'll be home in one piece with a successful honeymoon under our belts. It is 85 degrees in Phoenix. Sadly, I do not think it will be that warm at home. Well, we did it. We made it home. Um, we were immediately greeted by a host of people that we knew, um, not like planned or on purpose, but just because you can't fly into an airport. You can't fly into an airport that has one terminal, one gate, and the baggage claim and security are in the exact same room without knowing at least four people. <laughs> so we had a warm welcome home. Um, by the people, not a warm welcome home by the weather. It is 40 degrees and I'm freezing, just being assaulted by the cold. Um, unfortunately, I think it only gets colder from here uh, because we have a few days back in Nebraska and then Grant and I are getting back on the road <laughs> again to someplace really cold. So, thank you for following along in our Finally, our honeymoon. It's so fun to get to share these travel experiences with you guys. Taking bets on the, if the Nissan starts? The Nissan will start. She always does. She squeaks a lot, but she'll start. It's making noises. Like, See? No problem. Like a charm. I never doubted you. <laughs> right. All right. Um, so I'm trying to get 250,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. Um, so if you've not already subscribed, now is your chance. Uh, my Christmas present from you guys would be 250,000 subscribers. It would make my heart so happy. Um, I couldn't do all this cool stuff without you guys. Our steering is giving me trouble. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.